Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and this time I will show you guys 10 of the must-have tweaks for your jailbroken on iOS 11.3.1 device. And most of them, actually all of them, work also on iOS 11.4 Beta 3 if you're on that firmware. So these are tweaks that are essential and probably if you guys have been following me for quite a while now, you've probably seen most of these tweaks on some of my videos. This video is mainly for those people who might be new to the jailbreaking scene and they wonder which are some of the best tweaks that they should install once they jailbreak their device. So here are 10 of the must-have tweaks for iOS 11.3.1. Preference Organizer 2. This is one of my favorite tweaks ever. Of course, doing these videos I installed a lot of tweaks and there is also a long list of apps that you get from the app store on the settings app also you have the system apps right there so you will have a bunch of apps and a long list here on the settings app but if you install preference preference organizer 2 you will only see three different sections right here so we'll have the system apps you have your tweaks and the app store app so you can see right here if i go to tweaks all i have here is the tweaks that i have installed going back go to the app store apps i have a list here of all the apps that i have installed from the app store normally these would be on a long list right here on the settings app this tweak will organize them perfectly so to install Preference Organizer 2, you will need to add a repo, which of course can be found in the description of the video. Another must-have tweak is CC support. This tweak will allow you to rearrange the modules on the control center. So you just go to settings, go to control center, customize control center, and from here you can go ahead and rearrange the modules any way you like. So you have here the connectivity which are these right here. Then you have the music controls and you have the lock, the do not disturb, and also the sliders right here. So you can see, you can just drag them like this and you can basically rearrange them any way you want and move them any way you like and any way it fits you the most. So it's pretty, pretty awesome and very useful as well. Another tweak that you should have on the control center of your device is real CC. On iOS 11 and iOS 12 as well, Apple doesn't allow you to completely turn off the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth directly from the control center. So you want to completely turn off the Wi-Fi, you will need to go to settings, go to Wi-Fi and turn it off. That's really bad. With Real CC, you can do it from here. From the control center, you can go ahead, enable or disable your Wi-Fi directly from here as well as your Bluetooth. So it's as easy as that, the old way, just like on iOS 10 or iOS 9, older iOS versions, you can do it directly from the control center. Apps Manager is a jailbreak app that allows you to manage your apps. So you can back up the apps data, you can restore apps data, it's pretty amazing. So you will have a list of all your applications right here. You tap on one of the apps and from here you can see, you can actually go ahead and back up all the data of that app. You can see it's backing up right there, all the data of this app. And once it's done, you will see all that here on backups. Here we'll have a list of all your apps that you have backup their data. So you go here and then you can also go ahead and tap on the backup and you can open it in another app. You can view it in Filza and also you can restore the app data. Lock Plus Pro is an amazing tweak for the lock screen. Basically, this is the only lock screen tweak that you will need. It allows you to basically customize your lock screen any way you want, different themes, pretty amazing. So all you have to do is just swipe down here on the lock screen, you can control everything from here, tap there, you will have your themes right here. Then you can go ahead and just search for other themes here you have the, all, all the themes, you have top themes, and it's pretty easy to use. You just tap on one of them, click download, and it will download it and apply it to the lock screen of your device. As you can see right here, this theme, I'm using it using Lock Plus Pro. If you wanna see a more detailed video on Lock Plus Pro and how to use it, how to install it, how to get it on your device, make sure you check out the description of the video. Prediction shortcuts, it's very useful. It allows you to easily select text, cut, copy, or paste text. So you can see right here, all I have to do is just use the space bar to get away from that word and it will show me here 
all the buttons instead of the predictive text it will show me select all undo or paste so i can go ahead and select that text right here now it will switch to copy cut and paste i can go ahead and cut this text or copy it and then of course i can as well paste it right there so it's pretty pretty awesome very easy to use the copy paste and all those commands right here from the predictive text seven icon dock this is a simple one but yet very useful on the dock of your device you normally have just four icons with this tweak installed now you can have more up to seven icons on the dock normally i use five icons here on the dock it looks much cleaner but with this tweak installed now you can have up to seven so all you have to do is of course just drag another icon right there and you can have more icons on the dock of your device so you have your favorite apps right there on the dock so the tweak doesn't have any settings to configure just install it by adding a repo which of course will be in the description and then you can have up to seven icons on the dock of your device battery percent x this is a very useful tweak for iphone 10 users on the iphone 10 with stock ios you can only see the battery indicator right there on the status bar and by taking a look at the battery indicator you can never exactly tell how much battery have left on your device you will have to open the control center to see the exact percentage but with per battery percent x you will have the percentage right there so you enable the tweak right here and you can enable the battery percent percentage right here you can show the percentage symbol tap and hold to respring and also double tap to go to the low power mode you can also enable charging and low power mode colors when it's low power mode it will go yellow so you double tap there to go to the low power mode you see the percentage goes yellow or if you want to respring your device you just go ahead tap right there and hold it and then it will show you this pop-up if you need to respring your device you can do it from here for some picture this is a tweak that probably should have been a stock ios feature to begin with why stay here on the safari app and watch the video when you could have the video anywhere you go and still you can have access to the video and do anything else you want on your device so from here just swipe up detach the video and you can place it anywhere you want of course you can resize the video and just do something else on your device right here anything you want but still have the video right there playing in the background that's really really amazing and here you have also some controls so you have a play pause button you have an x button right there if you want to close the video or you have this button that will take you back to safari and where the video was playing so it's really awesome and the good thing is that the tweak is free and now let's go to anemone it allows you to apply themes theme icons on your device you can see my device here is has a theme applied by anemone it's pretty awesome so basically if you haven't been around for quite a while on the jailbreak scene anemone has replaced winterboard which we used in the old times to theme our devices now anemone is here and it's pretty awesome very nice ui and very easy to use you download the themes and you come here just enable them right here it shows you a preview of the themes and how your device will look with that theme applied and just click apply right there and it will apply it to your device as easy as that and here is an extra one that i could not leave out of this video it's iCleaner pro which allows you to clean up your device so if you have a device on low space then this is the tweak for you it will analyze and clean all the junk files that you have on your device that are just standing there and taking up space on your device so this is the app right here of course to install it you will need a repo which i will leave in the description you can clean here or you can just analyze your device and see how much space it will be able to free up on your device so this is a recently restored device and i don't think there will be a lot of space to clean but if you have a device that you have not restored for a while i'm pretty sure that, that there will be gigabytes of space that this software will go ahead and clean from your device and right here 2.1 gigs on my device so this is icleaner pro so that is it for this video guys these are 10 must-have tweaks for anyone jailbroken on ios 11.3.1 and ios 11.4 beta 3 as well so if you have been around on my channel or if you have been jailbroken for a while probably you have seen all of these tweaks 
and probably these might be boring to you, but if you're a newcomer, someone that recently has jailbroken their device and just wants to take a look at which of the tweaks should install first on their devices, these are 10 of the must-have tweaks that are useful and will enhance your experience on your iOS device. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one.